Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BTCS. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where the green and red line annotations are coming from. And I wanna get things updated here. And this, this chart is definitely now tricky from a, a presentation standpoint due to all the perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you are a day trader and you bought right there and you wanted to sell within 10 minutes after buying, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty terrible. Now, if you care about the big picture of things, I get it, there is a big old pullback today. But from the big picture, the bulls do still have an opportunity to build a higher base. And when you have higher bases being built over longer periods of time, that's how long-term uptrends are constructed. I'm gonna be talking about things from the big picture perspective. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess would be you just had a different outlook and strategy going into the trade. And for those of you that did watch yesterday's video, you should know exactly where I'm gonna go next. But in yesterday's video, I talked about the importance of nine cents right here. And while I'm not gonna beat that dead horse again on why that level is so important, if you do uh, wanna you know, understand better, then you can just go back and watch the video from November 8th. But this is a very important level because this is representing kind of our higher stair step. And from that perspective, so far so good. Yeah, sure, uh, temporarily the price was down below the green line, but by the closing bell, obviously the price had gotten up there. But let's say that the price actually kind of does what it did again uh, tomorrow and you know comes down here and just is flirting around with this area right here before starting to finally work its way back upwards. At that point in time, what would that give you? Well, that would give you a base of lows right here. The previous base of lows would be down there. If you picture each of these as stair steps, well, hey, the overall stair steps are still going in the upward direction. Again, I 100% realize that if you are a day trader and you bought up there, then you could not care less about you know these levels that I'm talking about. But that's why I kind of tried to disclose things and kind of qualify this all before you know going down the path so that you had an idea of you know the perspective that I was talking about but for those that do care about the big thing or the big picture there is still an opportunity to build that higher base and again I'm quantifying and defining the quote quote higher base as 0.09 so we'll see if that can hold as far as levels of resistance are concerned I'm not going to touch on those because top priority I mean they're up here at you know 0.102 and 0.108 but top priority right now is not breaking levels of resistance top priority is definitely uh, stabilizing and building that higher stair step which is still in play so we'll see how this one closes out the week tomorrow one of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.